How do outtakes work? Do I get to swear? Well, whatever. Hi everyone, it's Matt Hickey with Pit Lane Parlay. This is my first ever vlog. It's, uh, it, I don't know, 2020 is just becoming a crazier year and now I'm trying to be on YouTube. I don't know how this is going to work. So bear with me. I'm a, I'm a rookie. I uh, took some pages out of the Ricky Bobby playbook. So I'm, I'm learning what to do with my hands. But I'm not quite sure yet. So we'll figure it out. But uh I just wanted to uh, make my first video about my thoughts on the last uh, several months of IndyCar, my reactions about how they've been handling the pandemic, uh, some positives, some negatives, but just wanted to underscore my appreciation for everyone at IndyCar, whether it's Roger Penske, Mark Miles, Jay Fry, Stephen Starks, uh, the people that we were in contact with, you know, a, a lot of the times in the media center last year who we, you know, keep up with in the off season. It's, uh, it's been a crazy time. Uh, no lies. It's, it's been weird. Everybody's been kind of throwing a curveball. I think IndyCar's done a great job. So I'm going to touch a little bit on that. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and go ahead and find us on social media. Every platform is at Pit Lane Parlay. Uh, thanks again uh, for listening and for tuning into our podcast during this, yeah, like I said, a strange time right now. So first and foremost, very thankful to have a guy like Roger Penske in our corner right now. I think the timing of him buying the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and IndyCar could not have come at a much more opportune time. It never hurts to have a guy like Roger Penske be in charge of the series, own the series, be in charge of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, because not only is his passion for the sport unmatched, but his bank account's also quite big. So and if I'm being completely honest, that's never a bad thing to happen right to have right now. And he's an excellent leader who can help IndyCar move forward and try to navigate these these difficult and strange times we live in right now. We're also lucky to have people like Mark Miles, Jay Fry, Stephen Starks, all the great personnel within IndyCar to help us navigate these times as well. With Miles, Starks, and Jay Fry, it's, there's so much between the schedules, the promoters, the teams, possible new entries that they've had to kind of work with, engine manufacturers for the future, new chassis, new engine rules, everything. I can't imagine how much they're trying to juggle right now. There's got to be so many different facets of everything right now. So the fact that they are keeping the series afloat and doing a great job, in my opinion, I, I'm really thankful for. So I really appreciate not only their work, but everybody within IndyCar to kind of right the ship right now and, and make sure we can get a product this year that we can we as fans can all be proud of. Everybody right now is, is having to adjust on the fly, come up with new techniques, uh, make the most of schedules, things like that. I think they're doing the best they can with what we have going on right now. It's a pandemic. You can only expect a, a series that has a lot of people within a tight confines to witness the racing. Only so much they can do. Plus you got things like travel, close proximity at things like hotels and at the track itself for the crew. It's tough. It's a tough situation. So I'm really thankful that we have a race this weekend. I'm glad that all came together. It sounds like everything is being done very safely. And it looks like with the 14 races we have now that it seems pretty solid going forward. So while it might not be ideal... We did uh, lose a couple good races. We did learn that a couple of the venues won't have fans at them. 
announced today that the first Grand Prix of Indy won't have fans. You know, they're making the most of it. So I just want people to know that, you know, while it's not ideal, and yes, we'd all love to go to the races right now, we're just going to have to be a little patient and wait for kind of the all clear whenever that may come as far as either going to a track within a certain social distancing policy or once the definitive all clear is given, which again, who knows when that's going to be, when we can all just go back and, and just enjoy ourselves as we would have, you know, in, in 2019 or prior. Before I go on too much further, just wanted to uh, throw in a quick uh, whiteboard message. It wouldn't be fair of me if I didn't touch on some of the negatives. Uh, I've, I'm super bummed. Again, I totally get it. But I'm super bummed that races like Long Beach, Barber, Circuit of the Americas have been canceled. So they're not coming back for this year. Hopefully things work out with promoters. Fans are still interested, things like that, that they come back in 2021. But it's, uh, it's tough to speak, especially in Long Beach. That one really hurts. Uh, that's one of the best races on the calendar every year. And one of the races that gets the biggest crowd so hopefully we get to see that again in 2021 because it'll be very badly missed this year as i touched on earlier there's gonna be no fans at the first two races and honestly it's a little tough to tell what the remainder of the season is going to look like as far as having fans or no fans so we'll keep our eye on that and and see if we can get some fans at some of the races because i know without the fans there it does make the the atmosphere is a little, little different, and it's also really cool on a personal note to see some of my friends go to the races and, and enjoy themselves. So hopefully we can get fans back uh, sooner rather than later Later, once it's, uh, once it's deemed safe and, and everything's good to go. And then it was announced last week, you know, Indy Lights is, is basically canceled for 2020 uh, with the hope of returning stronger and better than ever in 2021. Again, if, if you're only going to field four or five cars out there, plus you don't know what the races are going to be, it makes sense just to kind of call it and, and, and save it for the next year. Feel bad for you know any of the staff, for the teams or the Indy Light Series itself that were affected or any of the drivers who were really primed and ready to go. Hopefully they can come back with their sponsorship and their money for 2021 so we can uh, put on a great show for the fans and see you know, who the next uh, star of IndyCar will be. But again, like I said, it's very supportive of IndyCar during this time. They've done a great job, in my opinion. Really appreciate everybody's hard work. Really excited to see the race at Texas. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of announcements recently about the chassis that's coming in 2022 and the engine package, the hybrid engines. So really looking forward to that as well. We have 24 cars at Texas. That is Saturday night. Uh, can't wait. Might be having a couple beers. Hope everybody at home uh, enjoys in the manner that you enjoy racing, whether it is a couple beers, tailgating before, sitting on the couch with the dog or family or friends, uh, however you do it. Just wanted everybody to know that, again, us at Pitlane Parlay, we really appreciated all the support. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this wasn't too cringy. Uh, got some outtakes coming at the end of the episode. Given that I'm an amateur, it's been a little rough, uh, we'll say the least. But uh, again, thank you so much. Really excited to get back to racing, and I hope everybody stays safe during this time. And we can't wait to see you at a track again soon. What do I do with these when I vlog? Do I just... Oh, I thought David Lighting texted me, but no. I wish David would text me. Before I go on, on before I go on too for too much, oh my God. before I go on too much further, uh, further, are further. As I touched on earlier, there's gonna be no fans at the next set. <coughs> <laughs> How do outtakes work? Do I get to swear? Well, whatever. <laughs>